Hello folks. Today I'm going for a serious attempt at animating some proms on the sun. I haven't had a good selection yet since I've had the quark, but this might be the best one yet. You can see I've got some proms here, some proms here. I overexposed the sun um, just enough so that I can still see the flames on the surface and the proms. Um, I, I, I lowered my gain uh, down to zero, um, as Jason said, that will be my best dynamic range for this. And I pumped up my exposure to uh, 30 milliseconds. And right now I'm recording 10 second videos with 30 seconds in between. Uh, the other day I tried 30 second videos with 45 seconds in between and it, the animation looked too choppy. So I'm, I'm condensing everything down to get a much smoother animation. Uh, we'll see how this looks. And I did process one of my videos to see how it looks so far. And I'm impressed so far, so I hope I don't screw this up. Uh, this was just a quick process, so you can see uh, those are some nice looking prompts right now. And if I can animate that, uh, this is going to turn out pretty cool. I'm excited. So that's all I got for now, so I will see you later. Okay, so as you saw from the beginning of the video, my prom animation was definitely a success. Although, um, I know it's not finished, it's, it's not in color yet, I have some background issues, I want to make the, the lower portion of the sun black, um, but I just thought it was so cool, I couldn't wait to share it. Because this is, that's what I was going for when I got this quirk, I, I really wanted to get a cool animation. And I think this is the first cool animation I've been able to capture. The, the weather has been bad. The sun's been a little bit inactive. So I'm happy with it. And uh, let me just show you some of the, the data I've got here. Now, I captured um, over 150 video files, 10 seconds each, and spaced about 30 seconds apart. And I stacked 50% um, of the videos. Um, I mean, 50% of each video, and this is what it, Auto Stacker came up with. I, I, I actually stacked them via batch mode in Auto Stacker, doing these one at a time. That would have taken forever. And I do have another video on how to do that. I'll post the link up here. If the link doesn't show up, I'll post it in the description. So that's what uh, Auto Stacker looks like. And <clears throat> let me show you. This is what it looks like after I did a little bit of sharpening with unsharp mask. I also cropped it down to size a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, the one on the left is also... I don't know, is that one cropped? I can't tell. Yeah, the one on the right is definitely cropped. Sorry, it's 1.35 a.m. here and I, I wanted to make this video. I'm actually capturing the crescent right now, but that, that's another video. And uh, let me show you, after I darken the background a little bit, and brighten the prom. That's that's what it's looking like. That's I, I got closer here, and I have another routine where I was able to um, process all 152 files in one shot using process containers, updating in batch mode via PixInsight. And I actually have another video on that. I'll I'll post the link up here as well. I mean. Uh, I'm not an expert. I wish I knew more in Pixel Sight, but I do know a few tricks to save me some time. And when it comes to making it in color, this is what I'm going for in color. I haven't, I, Once I figure out how to do color the right way, I'll probably make this animation, you know, do it in color. But right now, I don't think I'm, I know what I'm doing and how to get the best colors for proms yet. So I'm going to keep experimenting with this. I've got a lot of data here, so this, I think this is going to be an ongoing project, but I just think it's so cool what I've got so far. And anyway, uh, thanks for watching. That's all i got for now, folks.